Hey guys, this is MacKids on the One with a brief little video on the Mac App Store just came out. So I have, I just updated my Mac uh, and I haven't actually opened the App Store yet. And what you'll see on my screen right here is the package contents of the App Store. So before I'm opening it, I'm going to look through the contents to see what we might expect. So right away I see a bunch of images which are, you know, frames of a loading bar. And so I don't know why they couldn't use the default loading bar, but this looks a lot smaller probably, so that's interesting. Uh, here's that, probably the help uh, stuff, as it says help. And you might know that they use the IL sheets and HTML for a lot of stuff on iTunes and on the App Store, so there are going to be a lot of CSS things. Bunch of images for buttons, as you can see. Here's the offline page, so they actually use HTML when you're offline, so here's an image, here's a background, and then here's the actual HTML file that will display when you can't connect to the internet, and here's the CSS for that. Alright, and here's a bunch of the stuff for the search field. Don't know, once again, why they couldn't use the built-in search field. Uh, they're kind of being hypocrites since you can already do that, but maybe they didn't like their own API, I don't know. But whatever. Alright, here's the splash screen. It's just the App Store logo that you'll see. It comes up. That's just the page. Alright, and there's an executable in here called Update Checker. There's also another executable that runs called Store Agent, um, which actually is what does all the stuff talking to the store and getting back. And the App Store and the Update Checker all talk to that. So I guess that's a kind of good idea. I've seen them doing that a lot more with their apps recently. So I haven't even opened it up yet. Let's just open it up and see how it works. So it's going to ask to connect to the internet. Uh, I'll just say until quit any connection. And the App Store probably won't do this for you. That's just doing it for me. And as you can see, Store Agent wants to access the internet. That's their process. So this is a web page. They're displaying it with WebKit. Uh, so let's go ahead. Download Angry Birds. $5. I believe it's five dollars on the app side. I could be way off, but I don't know. I think things will be priced higher for the Mac App Store, but people don't have that much iTunes money, so and this will be full screen, I suppose. Uh, I don't know. Go ahead and buy that. I'll give them my information. Sign in. And there we go. And I have to click OK. I'm not sure exactly what that was asking me. And I have to agree to this. Uh, and let's see if it actually downloads it. Yeah, there it says installing. So, so it shows in my dock with that little loading thing. Uh, so they probably have to recode part of dock to do that. That's pretty cool. And so it's downloading this. Car is moving. It's going quite slow. I'd expect an app downloading to go a lot faster. Uh, it's 39 megabytes, and I, I'd expect to download that slightly faster. But I don't know. Maybe they don't compress compress the download at all, and they um, they don't do a lot of things that they should be doing. I don't know. And I assume that this is downloading to my applications. Well, I don't know where the temporary file is. Let's see, I'm in my app store. Now. Here's my date. Alright, so the download probably isn't going in my apps folder, but I assume that once it's done installing, it will. It's 16 hours. Because I don't know where else it can put the uh, stuff other than it's a magic directory where I don't want it. But while we're downloading this, let's take a look at the other features. Let's see Top Charts. Chopper 2. That's a pretty good app. You should check that out. I actually like that. Oh, and that's a dollar. Let's see. Fourteen dollars for iPhoto, fourteen dollars for iMovie, seventy-nine bucks for Aperture. Hmm. Well, there's so I'm seeing a lot of things that are like Pixelmator. That was free. Uh, you could just download that for free anyway. So I think a lot of free software that was good and free for the Mac is now going to be costing money. That'd be a real. That that's a real letdown. Whatever. I don't care. I shouldn't be complaining about paying $20, but I know a lot of people who probably wouldn't like that. So. 
Okay, so just bounce to my dock. It's done installing. I'll click on it. Oh, here it is. I'll go to the options and I can say blah blah blah. Go and find it. Let's see where it is. And put in my apps folder. I assume it puts in a temporary directory while downloading. I don't care. Alright, it's opened up. And it's a full screen application. You should be able to see it here. Oh god. I've never actually played the iPhone app, I'll admit. Alright, let's, let's click stuff until we can play. Uh, what do I do? Oh, cool. I don't think I can do anything. And it seems to me that what they did here is put the game inside of this gray thing. Oh, never mind, never mind. So it is, it does work for my screen resolution. I don't know why I'm supposed to doing this. Just click these. Alright, whatever. Uh, click there. No. Alright, guys, uh, to be honest, oh, sweet, you can scroll around to see part of the scene. But it's a pretty good app. I don't know, I don't like the controls much. I'm using an Apple mouse. So. Alright. Yeah, I'll quit. Alright, so I probably shouldn't have paid $5 for that. I'm never going to use it. I'll probably delete it in like 10 seconds anyway. That's going up in the dock. And as someone who doesn't use their dock, I don't know. I don't like the whole idea of putting things in the dock. So this will open up doors for people to download stuff that they normally wouldn't because they don't have the money or something like that. But it's also kind of a letdown to those of us who want free software, which now it's so easy to make it cost money that you don't. It's just a letdown. So you probably won't, you can't expect us to see any of our apps on this thing soon, even though we have some Mac apps, just because, God, I, I just don't like the whole Mac app store thing. Here's the Twitter app, it's free. Check that out. Ooh, that's a sweet animation. We'll probably have to do a lot of messing, and this is downloading quite quickly. Let's see. And it's done already, that was, that was cool. I guess Angry Birds has a ton of stuff. Uh, let's see how good this is. I'm gonna put this in my keychain. Uh, all right, so this is a pretty good app. Just downloaded. Hmm. Decent, decent. All right, that's pretty sick. So, God, all right. So that's just a look at the Mac App Store. Um, yeah, so you guys can check this out. Just go into Software Update and Update, and it's pretty cool. Um, now, I personally don't like it, but for free stuff, it's cool. It's a nice center. for Like, it's a centered environment. Probably not going to use it much. But anyway, thanks for watching Mac and Ron. Subscribe, and goodbye.